Pope Francis meeting with members of the Foreign Press Association today, stressing the importance of a free press. Amy Kellogg is live in Rome with more in this story. Hi, Amy. Hi, Arthel. Well, he gathered hundreds of us together, thanked journalists for their work, which is often in dangerous places. And he said, fundamentally, the church respects the work that journalists do, even, Arthel, when they, quote, stick their finger in the wound, and even if that wound is in the church community. Now, we gathered in the Clementine Hall, an imposing room in the Vatican covered with Renaissance frescoes. Both the president of the Foreign Press Association and the Pope played off the fact that the press headquarters here is on Via dell'Umiltà, which means humility in Italian, a quality the Pope said we all need to strive to possess. In a time when many spread fake news, humility prevents you from selling the spoiled food of misinformation and invites you to offer the good bread of truth. He piled a fair bit of pressure on us, reminding us not to be lazy in verifying facts, not to use violent language, not to be a megaphone for the loudest voices, not to neglect reporting on the good in the world, and not to neglect those who are often forgotten. He said it's important not to let stories of the Rohingya and the Yazidis slip off the front pages. Finally, Arthel, he took 45 minutes after he made his remarks to personally greet every single person in the room. He was on his feet for a long time, making small talk, making big talk. The bottom line is, the Pope is 82 years old. Most of us found that very impressive, and this was not his only engagement of the day. Did you meet Arthel. him? Did you meet him? I sure did, and it was a great pleasure. He blessed us all, and uh, it's a good way to end the week. Absolutely. Arthel. Amy Kellogg, thank you very much.